Greetings everybody, Red Ninja here. Today's tutorial will be modeling a entertainment set. And with the with the TV, I'm pretty sure I'm going to use a different image for the TV. I'm not really sure how the dimensions of the back is. But as far as what else is involved with the entertainment set, it's pretty much straightforward. But we're going to be using a different tool to achieve that effect. Okay, so, oops, sorry about that. Alright, so we're going to start off by clearing everything in the scene. Drag over a new window. And we're going to use UV Image Editor. I'm going to drag over the image that I'm going to be using for our model. Alright. So yeah, as I was saying from before, the tool that we're going to be using, which is the Boolean tool, just to show you the ins and outs of how to use it and you know how to make best use. Right. So for now, we're just going to model in this middle compartment for the entertainment set because everything looks like it's separate. So I'm going to go into edit mode. I don't want to edit it and object mode. So I'm just going to make it a bit bigger than what it is. Just mainly for space spacing concerns. So I may just go a bit more. Alright now I'm gonna get I'm gonna I'm gonna add these in afterwards after I get the details right here. So we're gonna start on that right now. Well I think I may need to make this a bit more longer than it is. Alright, so we're going to create another, we're going to create a custom shape with our plane. We could use a a, uh, a cube, but a plane is much faster since we only got to worry about uh, two dimensions rather than three dimensions. Alright, so we're going to duplicate this. Now it seems as though just need to increase the size a bit. So I'm just gonna bring it to about here. And then with the base, I'm gonna just make that a bit longer. Okay. So now we're gonna select both of these objects with right click, right clicking and pressing shift, and uh, right click, hold shift to select multiples. All right, so that looks fine. Move it up a little bit just to my, uh, modify it. All right, so now with this first part, since it's going to uh, cut away or subtract this inner portion of the entertainment set, we want to extrude it going all the way back, going straight through. Then we want to recalculate our normals for the operation to work properly. Now with this part right here, we're going to have to go about it a different way. We want we want this to maintain where it's at, but we want it to cut in over here. So to really do that, I'm gonna add a, add a loop cut in the center with Control R. Then we're gonna bevel it with Control B. And we're gonna add another loop cut in the center because we're going to add a mirror modifier to it. Let me just get this correct. There we go. Alright, so now we're going to select these two parts of the mesh and we're going to extrude those going backwards and we're going to make those go all the way through. Now, I suppose, yeah, we recalculate the normals. There we go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to select our object that's going to be used to cut it and we're going to select our object which will be, which will have the cut applied to it. Um, oops, I did the wrong one. That's going to be a difference. Alright, so the bool tool is pretty much a shortcut of using a boolean, as you can see over here, which you would just go to your modifiers and do it this method, but pretty much is a shortcut. So we're going to apply our brush, which is what this cube is, and we're going to do the exact same thing. Alright, select the wrong one. Difference. See, now we got that 
center part to stay, and then we got some drawers to add, we got some space to add our drawers. Alright, so we're going to apply that as well. Get rid of our brush. Now what we're going to do, see about if there's any extra faces, so there isn't. Alright, so what we're going to do now, we're going to use our knife tool and we're going to put this cut in the center center right here. We're going to press Z so that we can cut through and we're going to press C to constrain everything and go all the way through. So now what we can do, we can select the other side and we can delete though. We can delete that and we can add a mirror and now we got our first part of it done. Now we're not really going to worry about the topology a lot for right now, but what I will do is I will add some cuts over here so that we'll be able to make the legs. But towards the end of the video, we're definitely going to clear all we're going to clear up uh, our topology so that It'll render nicely. Alright, so that's good for now. Uh, I forgot one other thing to do, which is to close these. Alright, and the other thing to do is to add another loop cut. We want to bevel it. This will help us create the legs at the bottom. And thank goodness for the mirror modifier to help us. Alright, so we're going to move our whole object up onto our grid floor. Alright, now that's looking pretty good. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to select these four vertices and shift D, P to separate. So now, we'll have some correct geometry for our, for our shelves. For our drawers. So we just want to scale it out a little bit. We're going to create a face, recalculate our normals, uh, shift N to recalculate it. Now we're going to add a loop cut. Uh, but we're going to move it up, modify it. Alright, so that looks pretty good to me. And uh, next, oops, we're going to press our faces and we're going to extrude it out a little bit. Now we're going to do another extrusion on the inner part to get that we can, let's say if we wanted to fill something in the drawers. Oh yeah, and by the way, I'm pressing the slash key to separate the element. Alright, so next we're going to inset this part, select the middle face, and we're going to just extrude it going downward. Check it inside view, make sure it's correctly in there. Alright, it's looking good. I don't know why I keep doing it. <laughs> Alright, so now we're just going to add one more cut because we do need to get these drawer handles in there. And this would be good to have it in the center. Let's just add one more. So let's add the hit slash key to get out of there. So now we got the first part done. And it's perfectly modeled. There's very little cleanup work to really be done, but we're definitely going to save that for the last part. So this this is pretty much the first section on how you really use the boolean modifier for creating you know simple shapes you can definitely create some more complex shapes but this is just a start for right now so in the next video we're going to continue on with modeling this section over here and lastly we're going to do the tv and then we're, we're going to set up a little simple render for our 
to our scene and we're going to use a ambient occlusion all right so i hope to see you in the next video uh happy blending bye